everyone, I'm Maggie, and today we're going to be making a trichella recipe. Trichella is a Georgian candy that is made with a string of nuts coated in a concentrated fruit juice. I'm going to be using the traditional combination of grape juice and walnuts, but you can use whatever combination of fruit juice and nuts that you want. You'll find them all over the country, and they're really easy to make at home. The process can take a few days, but it's not complicated at all, and it uses only a handful of ingredients. And if you're a fan of Georgian food, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. To begin, you need to make the grape juice mixture, which is called tatara in Georgian. In a large saucepan over medium heat, heat 60 ml of oil until shimmering and then, whisking constantly, add 75 grams of plain flour. Cook this for a few minutes. Now, whisking constantly and moving slowly, pour in 1 liter of 100% grape juice. I'm using a mixture of Saparabi and Ricazzatelli juice, but any kind of 100% grape juice will do just fine. Don't be alarmed if it seizes up at first. The mixture will loosen up significantly as more liquid is added. Just make sure you're constantly whisking in order to avoid lumps. Bring your juice to a boil, reduce the heat to low, and allow to simmer until the mixture is very thick and has reduced significantly, about 30 minutes to one hour. Make sure to give it a stir every so often to prevent the bottom from burning. Meanwhile, it's time to make your walnut strings. Using a needle and thread, make a knot at the bottom of the thread and carefully string some walnuts onto it. Tie it off on the end so it forms a loop. This will make hanging easier. Typically, church kella consists of about 25 walnut halves, but I like to do about 15 walnuts per church kella. This will make about six strings. Once your grape juice mixture has thickened and reduced, turn off the heat and allow to cool slightly, about 10 minutes. Now it's time to do the first dip of your churchkella. Hold the walnut string from the top loop and completely submerge it in your grape juice mixture. Use a spoon to ensure it's fully covered. Then slowly pull it from the mixture and allow the excess to drip off. Don't shake off the excess here. You want as much to cling to the walnuts as possible. Hang your churchkella to dry in a safe place. I like to use my laundry drying rack. Allow to dry for 24 to 48 hours before repeating the entire process again. After your church kella have dried for a few more days, you can now eat them. To do this, gently tug the string through the walnuts to completely remove and slice or tear bite-sized pieces off. Okay guys, that's how you make church kella. As you can see, the process can take a while, but it really isn't all that difficult to do. Let me know in the comments which Georgian recipes you want to see next, and if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next videos.